Hello everyone and welcome back to a very uh, mixed feelings on this Attack on Titan review. I, I feel like it came at completely the wrong time. And I mean, it wasn't Isayama's fault, but it, the One Piece chapter that came out um, for the One Piece fans, which especially in Japan makes up a lot of people, um, it, it really did overshadow it. it. It was a fantastic chapter as I reviewed earlier. And not only that, I mean, even the, the lesser series like Black, Co Black Clover did a fantastic nostalgic thing to a very beginning chapter. I think it was chapter one. Um, so they did a f full circle, and it wasn't the greatest chapter at all. Not even worth reviewing, but that was a very memorable moment. So it, it just, Attack on Titan came out at a very weird time, um, especially with the pandemic being whatever it is, it's still going on. But with all that being said, I was hopeful that some some things were going to get resolved, and some things were. Um, it is a beautiful finale in some ways. Uh, we open up with a, uh, it's called, the final chapter uh, is called Toward, Towards, or to Toward the Tree on that Hill. And it's pretty interesting because we we start with Aaron and Armin, and uh, they're, they're kind of in this um, sequence where they this was a conversation they had a long time ago and he was saying you know does, does humanity have to be extinct you know do you have to do what you have to do Aaron do you have to kill everyone just because uh, you know the war with Marley is on the way um, you know and it, it was interesting because Aaron was saying you turned your backs on paradise in spite of being island devils to stand on the side of humanity to the end you'd probably become the most respected beings in the world. So it does seem like Aaron's kind of like, he wishes that he could be those people, but he kind of feels like he has to be the sacrifice for all of humanity at this point. He says the rumbling will kill 80% of humanity. That's definitely shown, but it's weird. I thought it would like reduce humanity down to like 5%, really. Um, you know, and then... Armin questions whether he needs to go this far, and then it kind of like we see the character kind of age as they're going on, um, and he was saying that this is the most important part about Yamir anyways because Yamir showed up in last chapter and everyone's like oh Yamir's gonna do this Yamir's gonna do that, but in reality Yamir didn't do jack shit, and this is why um, because Aaron says to Armin how did how did I get here and he was like. You said that the power of Titans continues to exist because Yamir has been obeying King Fritz for 2,000 years. And then he basically says, you know, long story short, that, you know, even after everyone was killed, even after her tongue was pulled out, Yamir actually loved Carl Fritz. And I was like, okay, I don't know what this has to do with anything. I mean, this is already information that we got. Um, you know, but I knew she was in agony and that's why she followed me kind of thing. She saw someone who would release her from the agony of love. That someone appeared, it was Mikasa. There's also this absolutely fantastic, one of my favorite drawings in the series uh, is of this um, Northern Lights thing with Aaron and Armin. It's just really beautiful. But this is actually why. This is actually why... Yamir believed in all of this and and let Aaron do this because she wanted to have everything play out the way that it was she wanted to be released from it because she knew that Aaron Aaron loved Mikasa but he knew that he he needed to let her go this is what I think happened and, and he's like even Armin's like what did you just see Mikasa you know um and he even says, like, why Mikasa exactly? And it says only Yam Yamir knows that that one. As for me, I still don't I don't even know. And before we get into this really cringy dialogue that Aaron has with Armin, I think that the reason that, that Yamir actually goes away and says, okay, maybe even grants Aaron's final thing where the Titan powers are gone, as we see in the last part of the chapter, spoiler, I guess, for <laughs> the end of this review. Um, but... What's really important here is that Yamir sees herself in Mikasa, and she sees Mikasa loving this person that is is constantly letting her down, and even though he's done all these atrocious things that Aaron has done, Mikasa still loves Aaron. So at 
the end of the day, she wanted to know what would she, what would Mikasa do? What would she do different that Yamir wasn't able to do? And that was even though she loves Eren, was to kill Eren and to you know put things you know to an end. Um, so that's that's what I think. That's why that's the reason I think that she actually decided to stick around and see things end and kind of maybe maybe get rid of the Titan power. Maybe that's what it was. Um, but that that's that's kind of what I was thinking. And then there's this really strange dialogue where it says, uh, that day, that time, it wasn't Berthel's time to die yet. And it's like, I don't quite understand that. The one who let him go and, and made her go that way, why was that? So I think it, it seems like, um, Fritz, uh, or Yamir Fritz was, was, was the person that literally was involved with everything. She, it seems like she actually controlled Diane Fritz, her ancestor, which makes a lot of sense why she's able to do that, and walked past Berthel, because in that scene is really weird how Berthel was thought he's going to get eaten, and then he doesn't, and then eventually he does anyways. And I don't know why Aaron says it wasn't his time, because it, it kind of was his time. When you think about the fact that all the Titans are zombies and, you know, what I mean. And so it, it is interesting that Yamir is behind all that stuff just to, just to see this one point. Whether Mikasa was able to kill Eren. If, and if she was, then she would leave humanity. Like, she'd be, I'm done, you know, in this plane of existence. Uh, which is pretty interesting. Um, but then we get to this, like, weird dialogue where, you know, he was saying, like, oh, uh... Do you think she can forget about you and live a happy life? And then he's like, oh, you know, I'm not going to forget. You know, Armin's not going to forgive. And then out of nowhere, like, out of literally nowhere, he's like, you know, Armin tries to goad him on by saying, oh, you know, she'll love someone else. He's like, oh, I don't want the, you know, because of finding another man, I, I want her to think about me and no one else the rest of my life. And I was like, um, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> like, th this is Aaron. This is supposedly a warmongering... You know, somebody who caused tons of deaths, tons of problems. Um, he's sh never shown to love anyone. I, I, I think at this point, maybe we can throw those theories out that Historia and Aaron's baby is the child at the end because I just don't see that. Um, and even Aaron thinks it's kind of cringe because he's like, don't, don't repeat that to be caused. But it's like... Bro, are you serious? Even after I die, I want to be in front of her mind for for 10 years at, at least. It's like, what? Are you, are you serious? You don't want her to move on because you love her that much, but you don't actually want to spend your life with her? Like, my God, what is wrong with you? Like, I know that he had a duty but to fulfill, and, and, and maybe that was part of the founder was what, was what he had to do. In order to, you know, it was kind of like that time travel thing where he had to do it in order for every all the other events to happen. Um, and it's strange because he shows Armin what the world will be like before the rumblings happen, I think. I don't know exactly this timeline. Um, but it's just, looking at those footprints, it's interesting how the entirety of the world will be changed forever by the landscapes of the Titans walking. Another really, really great picture. It looks like early Earth. I think it's just Isama went ham on some of these drawings, and I think they need to be, they deserve to have. And so it's interesting, he, he says, like, Aaron, is that your name? You know, Aaron, you are free. So, technically, there is a panel that, that pa Aaron, you are free panel was actually drawn in 2018, which is kind of amazing. Um, so that's where Aaron gets that you are free line. Um, and it's interesting, Armin finds that seashell for the second time. He convinced, um, essentially he convinced, uh, what's his name? Aaron's brother to kill himself <laughs> after he showed that shell to him, you know, and he kind of gave him a new sense of life, and he kind of does that same thing with Aaron. I like how he calls him a mass murderer, too. I think this is a very important part. He calls Aaron a mass murderer, and he doesn't just, like... He, he says he was, he's not going to forgive him. 
you know, but he still loves them. It's like, it's like that's like with family members to an extent. Like, no matter what shit they put you through, you're still going to love them at the end of the day. You're never going to be like, oh, you know, screw this person because they did this. Then there's this really strange panel where it's like, oh, healed up already with Armin. But it, it's like, it's in the present day. But then we go back to the past again. And there's another really great panel of... Um, Falco's Titan actually disintegrating. He had the best Titan in the series, I think, just because he could fly. Um, and Armin ends up saving the day big time. Like at the end of the, after all this stuff, Armin ends up actually telling everyone, "Hey, you know, we can't do what we're doing right now. You know, we're not. We're we're if if we were really Titans, we would have already attacked you, Marleans." So it's interesting how Aaron said, you're going to be the savior of the world. And he was. Because he literally, you know, got them Marleans to finally just go, okay, you guys aren't Titans anymore. We're not going to try to kill you. Um, from the Marleans' perspective, you'd think that they, maybe they would. But I think in that situation, nobody really wanted to kill each other anymore. Just because of all the mass uh, deaths, mass murders that they've seen. The the fact that, that everyone gets their, you know, gets gets to not be a titan anymore was pretty shocking what i thought was going to happen was that the people that turn into titans you know would have to the people that were titan shifters would have to sacrifice themselves to the titan the people that became pure titans um and i thought that would have been a more grim yet you know kind of like optimistic look you know of, of sacrifice but that didn't happen which is a little bit disappointing and everyone's actually, you know, kind of has this, like, found respect for Aaron. Uh, you know, I'm glad, I'm, I am glad that Best Girl Peck kind of looks like she's going to be all right completely. I'm surprised Levi didn't have anything to do. I don't know why he's in a wheelchair at the end. Uh, it's kind of disappointing, but I don't know why he's in a wheelchair exactly. Because I thought at first his foot got eaten off, but that didn't happen. Um, I'm, I am glad that they started showcasing a lot of characters in the smoke. And I wonder if it was an illusion that was created, because at first I thought Levi was just having a dream, like he usually does. But then, like, Coney and Jean were like, what, Sasha? And they were actually pretty surprised by their expression. So I actually think that maybe, maybe Aaron did some kind of last thing where there's an illusion within the, 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 within the Titan smoke. Either that, or they're just so delusional that they're just seeing people... Um, that they once loved. But either way, it's a nice touch to include, you know, people that have already passed away. Um, it, it's kind of cool seeing Rainer's mom actually saying, you know, I'm, I'm sorry for everything, this is all I ever needed. You know, considering their relationship was pretty bad and that Rainer couldn't, you know, live with his dad and because he's half Marlan and that whole thing, it was all messed up. Um... And then basically Mikasa buries buries Aaron's head. You know, we had that whole Armin thing where he actually, you know, had a really great point where he was saying, you know, what other possibility, possible proof of our humanity than, you know, us like laying our arms down uh, like that. Uh, you know, he stories his kid, you know, it might just be that her, she married just some nobody. Um, it would be interesting that if that was Aaron's, but because of all the Mikasa stuff, I would have to say that that probably isn't. Also, awesome name for a war. Battle of Earth, Heaven and Earth. That's pretty cool, to be honest. Uh, and I, I love this part about the um, Jaegerists. I hate the Jaegerists. Um, I hate everything that Aaron and, and the Jaegerists stood for because I felt like it was very, you know edgy edge lord stuff like we're just going to destroy all of humanity um because we were oppressed and it's like well now you're the ones that are oppressing so what the fuck is that um but what i do love about this is that in a realistic situation you would never have a a, a series end the way that like say naruto ended where you know the big bads were taken out and naruto's like oh I, well i'm a hokage so you know it's peaceful in the light novels they they tried to make a little bit of sense of this and like there's people that are like no screw you we, we don't trust you and that's how the real world would be is there's constantly conflict there is a resolution of peace out there and the possibility 
of hope being being out there is still there but at the end of the day he, the most realistic approach which i love that he he said it went the way of actually still having conflict you know with the jaeger is actually moving to war if we win we live if we lose if we die if we lose we die if we don't fight we can't win fight fight so that part where it says fight fight i'm kind of thinking that when aaron was in prison quote unquote prison and he he was like talking to himself in the mirror and he was like fight you have to fight you have to fight i wonder if this was what he saw in the future and this is what kind of like like pissed him off because he was doing everything and he's like oh my god these people are going to be doing all this afterwards uh like maybe maybe that's what why what kind of freaked him out and then Hanj came in and he was just like oh why would you come in this is the worst possible time Aaron did say he wasn't he didn't even know what he was seeing anymore now, there's a lot of disappointed people that don't want anything to do with the Jaegerists including um the girl that talk to Annie and Armin a lot. I can't remember her name, but she was like falling asleep almost, which is pretty cool. Um, but it does seem his story is like an actual queen now at this point. Um, I was surprised that Jean and Peck weren't uh, shipped. In fact, there's no ships in this series, which, I mean, I, I like that he didn't do that because I feel like, you know, you have to pander down to the fandom all the time. And it's good that he didn't do that, um, but I was sh pretty shocked that Peck and Jean didn't... I feel like they had a lot of chemistry. Um, I feel like they might have made sense in the later half, but then, like, they address each other, like, oh, you seem awfully concerned about your looks, Jean. Are you seeing... Are you, you're looking good for somebody? Like, any, any... I love this line, though. Anyone who, who has ever opened a textbook, because, of course, now they would be in a textbook, so... That was cool. Uh, Rainer kind of goes back to his old self as he, as he smells Historia's uh, letter because uh, he loved her when back way back when she was like Crystal or Chris, Christine or something like that. I cannot remember right now. Um, and, and I love how it's like we destroyed the walls, we betrayed the island, you know, we killed Aaron's, you know, revered, you know, the most revered man in Eldia. Do you really think? You know the, the allied nations would you know embrace us but also who i think coney is the guy with the longer hair at first i thought this character was falco and it kind of threw me off but i think it's supposed to be coney I, I don't quite understand why he looks so similar but and pack is kind of more realistic I, I love this panel though even though i don't necessarily like levi being in a chair um, being demoted. I, I do feel like he's going to be like the old man that's going to train people later on, but he's so messed up. It's it's kind of depressing. But Falco and Gabby are there, and I, I hated Gabby's character for a long time, but now I'm, I'm okay with her, you know. I feel like she had a good resolve, and at the end of the day, it's kind of cool that she's staying with Levi, um, considering you would never expect those two people to be teamed up. So I love how, you know, you saw him place these two people there. And I love how it, it's an emphasis on their story, their point of view, their perspective. It's not anyone else's. It's their perspective, um, point of view. So that's something important to keep in mind. There's just a lot of beautiful symbolism towards the end of the chapter. Um, and Mikasa is in her, like, OG outfit she had when she was in the very first beginning of the chapter. Um, and kind of like it's in front of Aaron's like kind of grave by the tree and they, she says a lot of people will be coming to visit you soon Aaron and uh, it, it, I don't know it, I, it's it's conflicting I, I, I like how Mikasa kind of looks like her mom now beside that scar on her face um, which I don't even remember where she got that scar anymore I don't know. It, on one hand, I feel like they did a good job. You know, Issa Alma did a good job with closing all the loops. But then on the other hand, I feel like the series could have been more than what it ended up being. Um, and could have been a little bit grimmer. Um, with also still... It, it, it didn't need to be completely grim to where every human was taken out. Um, the people that wanted that, I was like, what the fuck, you know, why? 
Um, there needed to be some kind of hope or some kind of resolution. I feel like Yamir uh, should have had some dialogue and should have been involved, but that didn't happen. Um, but, you know, I, I didn't even really feel anything for the end of the chapter until I, I started reading that thing where it was like, you know, the the to the readers of Attack on Titan. And when I read that by the publisher, I was like, oh, my God. You know, it, it, it kind of hit me. It, it did hit me a little bit. You know, I, it was... It was I don't know, maybe Isama just wanted to leave it on a happy note after considering everything. Um, but there's a lot of people in the comments who were saying they absolutely hated this um, finale. And I have to say to those people, have you ever heard of Naruto? Have you heard of Demon Slayer? I mean, Demon Slayer is a, is a series that ended recently. And I remember reading that final chapter. And it was incredibly disappointing to see characters that had already passed on get reincarnated in essentially the same thing. So, at least it's not that. You know, what we got here is nowhere near as bad. We got to see the main characters being alive. Um, there's no shippings, there's no pairings, the conflict is still there. So it, it's, it feels almost like there's going to be a spin-off, which I hope there's not. Um, but it's just really odd. It's just a really odd series. Uh, ending, um, but it, I, I feel like it's good enough, you know, um, I would say it's an, like an 8.6 out of 10 to be realistic, uh, th there were some disappointing things, a lot of, some characters like Levi wish did more, um, and there was more resolution with Gabby, but, you know, it, it's fine, <laughs> it's, it's just not, uh, like, an amazing ending like I thought it might be, uh, anyways, uh, I've rambled on long enough, um, it's been really interesting. Hopefully I do the season. I will be reviewing the seasons of Attack on Titan next. Um, so look out for those. Um, anyways, I'll see you guys till next time. Have a great day.